try to get your attention focused here. Make sure that here doesn't slip off to someplace else. When the Buddha talks about samsara, that's what he's talking about. It's the process of the mind it keeps going and looking for something new. It drags all kinds of things into your awareness and pulls you around. And this is why we suffer. Because we don't see that there's a potential right here in the present moment that we haven't really investigated enough, that we haven't really dug down inside enough. So this is what we want to do. We're digging down into the present moment to see what different layers of good things there are down there. And we're going to run into some unpleasant things. And John Lee's example is of digging down to the ground to get some gold, but there's a big rock in the way. In other words, there are pains and distractions and other problems. But there is gold down there. You have to figure out some way to get around the rock, go through the rock, whatever is required to get down there. So you have to be very careful about the thoughts that go wandering off someplace else. This is what the mind has been doing for who knows how long, just wandering, wandering, wandering around, hoping to find something good. But it's never going to find anything that's nearly as good as if you dig down inside right here, right now. So make up your mind that whatever is going to happen in, course, in the course of the day, you're going to try to stay right here. When you're walking, stay with the walking. Stay with the breath while you're walking. When you're eating, stay with the breath while you're eating. Whatever jobs you're doing around the monastery, you lie down to rest, okay, stay with the breath until you fall asleep. When you wake up again, okay, go right to the breath. Try to be as consistent and as committed as you can be right here, because it's the element of commitment. That makes all the difference. Otherwise, you're just like a bee that wanders from flower to flower to flower, picks up a little pollen here. The bee doesn't really benefit that much. As it takes the pollen back, it's turned into honey and food for other bees. Try to stay committed. And it's that element of commitment that whatever comes up, you're going to figure out some way to deal with it. All too often people come up with difficulties in their practice and they run away. If there's something in the practice they don't like, they run away, find a new practice that's more pleasing. Then they run into difficulties with that one, they run away again. This way you never get anywhere. But if you're committed to making this work, you'll find that there is a way to make this work. It's not like a relationship where it's two different people with each, of, each having his or her own agendas that you don't know what's going on. It's just you and you in here. And when you decide all of the different yous in here, decide, okay, we really do want happiness so we can get together and can really dig down and find it. That's all there is to it. Everything you need is right here. 